Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. Today I want to share a very interesting and an impressive technique to make your column charts, bar charts or any other types of charts pop out and uh, provide um, a sort of wow factor as well as um, um, you know some extra detail. So this is what we are going to talk. We are going to talk about how to use shape fill technique to kind of get uh, a, a graph like this. So this is something that I originally got inspired when I was visiting uh, Europe uh, some time back a couple of months ago for a conference. Um, I, I was um, going around Amsterdam and uh, looking at uh, um, <laughs> all the beautiful houses in the city and uh, you know how their houses have this kind of a structure where uh, there is a ground floor and a couple of floors and then the see the top floor has that kind of a fashion and everything kind of looks more or less similar uh, all the houses I mean they might have different colors but the in, in terms of the structure they tend to look like this so I thought you know it would be cool to replicate that as an excel chart uh, so this is a Amsterdam sales report for 2019 sales up by 75% since Jan 2019 so we we want to show rather than making a simple column chart or a bar chart for this data uh, we could uh, create something like this but uh, this tends to be uh, quite um, usual and hence it doesn't really uh, when people look at it they they're not engaging with it they may uh, just look at the trend and understand what's happening um, this is in no way a bad chart it is one of the most recommended charts and, and, and a very good practice to start with but uh, if you want to have a little bit of extra factor added to that you could consider filling uh, with shapes so that you can get this kind of a picture so let's see how to do this um, for this particular challenge as you could see there are three kinds of things that are important uh, there is a base, uh, the first floor or the ground floor of the house that has this kind of a uh, image and then there could be any number of floors and then the top uh, top bit like this. So given a set of values, I've assumed that both base and the top will be 100 each. These are all in, in multiples of 100 so uh, it's easy for me to make that assumption and then the floors would be whatever is the balance so we, we will say this is equal to 100 that's equal to 100 and this is nothing but um, a, a subtraction of uh, 400 minus those 200s so we would get some 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 additional values like this and then we select this bit we go and insert a, a regular stacked column chart so we will get something like this so we have base top and and then the floors now base is in the correct position but the top needs to be on the top uh, for the sake of convenience we did create this right next to each other but the top needs to be really third series so what we will do is we'll right click go to select data and from here we will take the top and push it down um, so that the order reads like this base floor stop so the first layer would be base that's the bottom one floors would be middle and the top would be the top layer so once this setup is done we will then uh, go and uh, uh, and bring some images uh, this is very simple what you would need to do is uh, you can either draw these in Excel or you you can go and uh, import them as pictures so if you want to import then you will simply go to insert uh, pictures and then uh, point to the files from your computer um, it's not um, terribly complicated so what I did is I created them in Excel using uh, various drawing shapes of lines and boxes and whatnot it took me maybe a good five minutes to come up with this but uh, you're welcome to either reuse these images or, or or go and create something on your own so we will then uh, take the base image copy it control C select the base part of our chart paste it control V so that gets pasted we will then do the same for floors copy it select paste we'll do the same for ceiling copy control paste so uh, you, you, oh, oh sorry i think i did uh, something wrong here uh, so i meant to copy uh, and then paste so this is what we get as you could see excel is um, the default behavior whenever you paste it, it not only fills up that image there but also it stretches it out 
what we want is we don't want to stretch we want it to be stacked so we will now right click on this chart uh, go to um, format data series and from here um, we can go and set up how the fill should happen so we go to this fill, uh, fill options and then we are filling it with the picture that's what it is selected and it is stretching right this is all right we can uh, leave the stretch for the bottom and top but the middle one needs to be stacked so this is stacking and uh, stack alone is not enough because each floor needs to be 100 units that's uh, that's the logic here we are following base is 100 top is 100 so the floor should also be uniformly spaced so we will use the third option stack and scale width the units per picture would be 100 um, or yeah that, that's that's pretty much what it is and then we will get this now the houses are usually close to each other they're not this far apart so uh, we will also select one of these columns go to gap width and make it zero percent so that the houses are touching each other and then we will get this nice looking chart same thing as here you can size it you can add extra series whatever uh, extra data points and it will work uh, if you have two types of data like you know house uh, sales by month and the value and the target you could potentially add extra series and different colored shapes and, and do it like that let me show some other inspiration for you for example if you are looking at gender distribution by uh, some departments or some survey or whatever you could use pictures of male and female you know you could just go and draw these icons in excel or import them as pictures and uh, and then one key thing you want to remember whenever you're doing this is the pictures have same dimensions that is width and height should be same for both images because if they are uh, unequally sized then the st stacking will not be uniform uh, and then uh, you create a, a regular uh, bar chart in this case a stacked bar chart uh, and then for male we just copy that shape and paste it uh, and then for female copy and paste again remember the default behavior is to stretch it out uh, but you can go to fill uh, options and then say stack it the same thing for this one as well and then we will get this nice looking chart you can adjust uh, gap width uh, to make it you know maybe 10 percent so there is less white space and more of these things or you could do something else um, in any of the other formatting of the charts right uh, there is the third one uh, this is again uh, different icons like for male and female uh, and uh, and showing them in negative and positive sides works just as beautiful uh, and, and and provides that kind of insight so i hope you found this video interesting and useful um, and this is a technique that i i suggest you to play with and use it in moderation don't go overboard with this because we don't want our audience to focus too much on these shapes they won't we want them to look at the actual patterns too and understand what is really happening but uh, creating this kind of infographic style uh, reports in excel can raise the bar and uh, makes your make can make your reports and, and workbooks more engaging to your audience so uh, give them a try and share your feedback in the comments if you want to download this workbook uh, go to the video description and uh, grab a copy of it as well thank you bye, -bye.